Hi, welcome to Onyx Tube Factory. Look at this. It's finished. So the installation consists of 121 Nixi tubes in 11 rows and 11 columns. And in the center there will be seven special tubes that not only can display digits from 0 to 9, but they can only display one special symbol each. These seven symbols are mean to display the, the message of the art installation as it was designed by the artist. We made and packed more than 121 Nixie tubes, but uh, we didn't finish the seven special symbols. Like we have few of them finished, but we need to make another full set of these seven tubes and take them with us. So the tubes with this complex symbol turned out well. Uh, when you look at these tabs, all this heavy part is uh, held in place only by these thin tabs. So it's flimsy and uh, it tends to touch all the other surrounding elements. But this one went well and this simple one failed repeatedly. We made several tubes with this symbol and they all failed either because of cracks in the glass or leaks or whatever. There is still a long way to go to make the production of the H tubes uh, fully reliable and cost efficient. So in three months we are traveling to Japan to install it and there are still some other things besides the simple tubes that we need to do. One of them is that we need to make more spare modules uh, for the Nixie tubes we have right now only 121 of them, uh, so no spares. Uh, another thing to do is uh, main module for driving the installation. So here we have the metal case for it prepared. As a spare module of the power supply, we are taking our old unit. Uh, it's working well now, uh, but the problem is that this high voltage power supply, uh, it heats up over time and uh, it can, from time to time, it can activate its fan, which is very loud. And we don't want to happen this during the exhibition because uh, the room will be like one big black room and we want to be it completely silent. We don't want to interrupt the visitors by, by the sound of the fan. So we made a completely new unit, uh, which is already tested and packed uh, on the pallet. Uh, the new unit has two silent fans here and they run continually and they cool the power supply so that it stays below the temperature that triggers the internal system that triggers the fan so it never runs instead we have all we have these two fans that run all the time and they are not audible and here is the system how it will be held in place the tubes uh, it will be large blackboard with holes pre-drilled in it and uh, from the back we'll have the electronics and the tube will sit in the electronics from the front and it will be secured by screw from the back and uh, then there will be a protection of the electronics mounted from the back so here is the communication port uh, high voltage port will be here and this is how it will be how it will work and here it is finally packed each of the boxes is labeled so that after the exhibition when everything needs to be packed back to the boxes uh, the people on the place know where everything goes so this shipment is the first real shipping of the h tube it needs to come to the destination and survive and it's also the first stress test uh, that will show us how rigid is the tube and uh, what do we need to do with the packaging. It is packed carefully in bubble wrap, but uh, just the reality will show us how we design everything and how many tubes we need to replace. Hopefully all will survive.
the artwork as you see it on the wall in our workshop is compressed there is no space between the tubes to save space it's so large but in the real installation in museum the tubes will be placed farther from each other we just had to nail down the best spacing i was afraid that the animation will become jerky if we put the tubes too far from each other in the end we were surprised how good the animation looked the final spacing is set to 10 cm that makes the artwork close to 3 meters wide it will be really a huge beast made of nixie tubes Thanks for watching. There are so many things that happen in March, but uh, if I want to stick to the schedule one video per month, I have to just finish it. So, thank you for watching and see you in the next video.